welcome to KK Java tutorials guys in this video tutorial we'll uh, write a program basically multi-threaded programming uh, there we will see how to print even and odd numbers using two threads in previous video tutorial I have shown you how to print a natural number right starting from one till a uh, number uh, till total number in the sequence uh, by uh, three threads right and this is the problem statement we had discussed in the previous video tutorial and we had written the code from the scratch right so i will use the same concept similar concept so if you look into the natural number right starting from one and let's say total number in sequence is 12 right so total number in sequence uh, that depends on the what uh, uh, i mean what limit you take from the keyboard right that can be a 12 that can be a 20, 100, 2000, whatever limit you want to take from the keyboard, right? So here, if you look into the natural number, and uh, we had print printed through three, uh, basically uh, threads, right? And already we have discussed. Now let's say, now I want to print a, a, a number starting from one till uh, basically uh, total number of total number in the sequence, right? So let's say total number in the sequence is 10. So uh, my thread should start printing from 1, 2, 3, 4, so till 10. And if you look into the natural number, all the natural number is the combination of either even number or odd number, right? And that's that's what this problem statement says, print even and odd numbers using two threads, right? So instead of three threads, now we have to take the two threads. So whatever concept we had discussed in the past for three, three uh, threads, right? that can uh, then that can be applied for the two threads uh, as well right so here if you look into the odd numbers right it, this is a sequence sequential number one two three four five six seven till ten i have written right you can go ahead now now uh, uh, odd numbers i want to be printed by the thread one right so if you look at these are the just odd number right these are just odd number right and these are the just even number if you look at these are the just even number right so even number i want to be printed by the thread 2 and odd numbers uh, to be printed by uh, 1 but i want number to be printed in the sequential order right so how we can do that so again i'm going to apply the same co same concept if you look into these odd numbers if you modulus division of these odd numbers by 2 right if you do again i'm telling you if you do modulus division of these uh, basically odd numbers by 2 then this will give you the remainder one always right similarly if you do a uh, modulus division of these even even numbers this will always return you zero right so we'll take advantage of this concept right and uh, accordingly i'll give the chance to the uh, basically uh, to these two threads uh, i'll give you a chance to print either even or odd right so what i'll do i'm going to just uh, copy this code what we have written in the previous video tutorial if you did not watch my previous video tutorial then i request you to go and watch definitely that uh, will uh, basically help you out still I, I even though i'm going to, to copy entire project and creating uh, with some other project name and i'll convert this project uh, this uh, project uh, to print all the natural numbers right uh, or all the even or odd numbers in SQL cell format uh, by two threads. Uh, but, but each and every piece of the code, again, I'm going to explain, no worry. So just I'm going to paste this entire project. I'll give uh, uh, I'll give the same name with uh, two. And this, this one, I'm going to just close. Uh, and uh, I'm doing little modification over here. And within no limit, I will will convert this project uh, Okay, this two, uh, this project uh, number to be printed odd and even number by two threads. So here, what I'm going to, I, I don't require third thread. So third thread, I'm going to read. So if you want to uh, print uh, uh, odd and even number, so already I have discussed if all the odd numbers, if uh, modulus division by two, that that will give you the basically one, and even the modulus division of all the uh, even number modulus division by uh, Two means that is going to return you zero so here number of threads would be two so that I'm going to change this is the one of the change in previous project and if you want to print the odd number then you have to pass one this is nothing but the modulus division by two right and this is zero so if you divide even number uh, modulus division by two this is going to return zero right and that's it there is a small change you have to do again here in number generator class here whatever 
limit we are checking number less than total number in sequence so here you have to give the equal to sign less than equal to and if i run this project then you'll see number odd and even number will be printed by the two uh, threads so here you can see thread one has printed one thread two printed or uh, two thread three uh, thread one again printed three so here you can see thread one always prints one three five seven always odd number and thread two always prints even number right so in that way you can see number is getting printed in the sequential fashion let's say i increase the limit 20 right even uh, whatever limit you want to give you can give over there so here limit just i have hard coded but you can take from the keyboard using a scanner here you can see how uh sequential number is getting printed so uh, thread one takes the responsibility to print all the odd numbers thread two takes the responsibility to print the even numbers all the even numbers yeah so now here this comment has to be changed so this is going to be done by the two threads so uh, i would say uh, two threads and here this thread yeah that is correct uh now almost we have done now now let me explain you each each and every piece of the code so here first of all i would like to explain you this class which is very important uh this is the numbers generator class and this is the uh, resource class which is going to use by the both the threads right thread one and thread two so here i have declared three variables all are private in uh, and uh, integer so numbers number which i would like to print have initialized with the one then number of threads which client has to pass and total number in the sequence right so let's say if you try, start printing from one till what limit uh, you want to print right that limit has to pass to the client yeah and i have a constructor there just i have initialized these two uh, uh, just i am initializing these two uh, instance variable and this is already initialized with one right now we have uh, one method is called uh, print numbers which takes results result is nothing but the if you look at the client program right so this is nothing but the result so if you want to print a uh, odd number then you have to uh, pass uh, one if you want to print the even numbers then you have to pass zero this is nothing but the result right so and this method has to call from here if you look at the client program uh, in client program uh, total number and sequence i have in slide total number of threads i have in slide and i have created this uh, an object of numbers generator which takes a number of threads and total number of sequence as an argument so that i have passed over here right so now we have a reference of a number generator and this is the resource class which has to be shared between these two threads right uh, here thread t1 right i have given the name as thread 1 right and uh, I, this uh, basically i have created uh, an object of thread uh, right uh, and uh, the, you can see the constructor of thread uh, first argument is runnable object and second is the name of the threads so this is the runnable object which has a constructor which accept a uh, number generator as an argument first and second is the result the result is nothing but one i am passing so that this thread would be able to print the uh, odd number and here i am passing zero so that this thread will be print uh, will be printing the even numbers right so now we have two threads just we have to start now let's come back to this number uh, here uh, core logic we have to understand over here right so here you can see the print number is getting called from this uh, basically a uh, sequence generator class from run method right so now client has called this uh, client has created an object of uh, this sequence generator task and passing uh, a reference of numbers generator and result right now here from run method we are calling we have a reference number number generator we are calling this print numbers by passing this result the result uh, either one or zero one when uh, thread wants to print uh, uh, odd numbers which is going to print by thread one and zero uh, when uh, uh, thread two wants to print the, all the even numbers right now if you look into here here first of all in this method i have created one synchronized block right if you look at the synchronized block starting from here and ending over here right synchronized within this synchronized method in this synchronized block i am passing a reference of current class object now we have a while uh, basically loop which starts from here and ending over here so in while loop just i am going to provide the condition number less than equal to total number in sequence minus one right why minus one because i have given the post fix over here right so this condition i am checking 
so number it starts from one so uh, let's say think about the when uh, you never know which thread uh, will get the chance first whether thread one and thread two right so let's say thread two gets chance first and try to execute this method right and thread two basically uh, uh, getting chance the first time cpu time and try to execute so uh, when thread two is trying to print the number then we have to put this thread thread t2 into the waiting state because thread two is uh, uh, basically printing the uh, basically even number but first one is the odd number right so let's say thread two get the cpu time first and try to execute then how this is going to execute right so one, one uh, number is one one less than equal to total num number in sequence that is uh, 20 minus so one so one less than equal to 19 so what do you think uh, that is absolutely right right one is of course less than uh, uh, 19 so control will go inside and now number means one one modulus division of number of threads two one modulus division of two is one and result is zero for a uh, thread uh, t2 right result zero so one not equal to zero that's true so this condition becomes true right so now control will go inside and thread t2 will go into the wait state right now waiting state uh, thread 2 2 is going to wait state means thread 2 will release the lock right now thread 1 will wake up and that will try to execute this code right so now number 1 is still 1 right so 1 less than or equal to 19 again this is true now uh, now so basically th uh, now uh, now number 1 modulus division of 1 1 right that is uh, modulus division of 2 so, sorry, uh, n and 1 modulus division of 2, that is nothing but a number of threads, that is 1, not equal to 0, uh, not equal to 1, that is for thread 1, right, and that's that's true, uh, that's uh, that's not true, right, so if I, if somebody tell you 1 not equal to 1, that is absolutely false, that is not true, right, false, so control will not go uh, in this while loop, so that will not go into wait state, so that will go ahead and that will print the name of the threads, and then number right so that will print the one and after uh, going ahead that will increment the number so that number will go uh, become true uh, two right and that will notify the other threads so other threads is nothing but that uh, that is uh, t2 will get wake up and now now number becomes two two less than equal to uh, less than equal to 19 that's true that go inside let's say number uh, thread 2 t2 got that chance then uh, 2 modulus division of 2 0 right and uh, and and this guy is sending 0 so here 0 not equal to 0 right so uh, 0 not equal to 0 what do you think that's uh, that's absolutely false so control will not give, go inside this that will go ahead and that will print number 2 and after bars, afterwards that will incremented by 1 and again that is notifying so in this manner number will be printed in the uh, 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 sequential order so uh, always uh, basically uh, here uh, thread uh, th thread one is going to print uh, uh, all the uh, odd numbers and thread two two going to print the basically even numbers here here core idea is to uh, let's say you have a two threads then uh, first thread result has to pass one and second thread has to pass zero if you have a three threads then you have to create the three threads you want to print natural number by the three threads then you have to cre create three threads t1 t2 t3 and here first of all you have to pass one then two then zero you have let's say you have a four threads then you have to create the four threads t1 you have to pass one t2 you have to pass two t3 you have to pass the three and t4 you have to pass zero so basically this uh, this uh, project can be customized for the n number of threads right so this is the all the concept uh, behind this uh, guys i'm going to post this code on my kk java tutorials blog so in previous uh, video uh, we had seen how to print natural numbers by three threads right and that already i have posted and link i have provided into the video description so this code also i'm going to uh, post uh, on my blog and link you will get in the video description part guys big thank you for watching this video and see you there in the next video tutorial